Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here with Let's Build an Apartment Part 4 and we're actually in afternoon light mode because I'm pretty sure the last part I did the whole thing in morning light which if you guys haven't watched this series before is really really dark so that was kind of silly of me. Uh, but anyways, this is our apartment build. If you're tuning in now, we built this from scratch in part one and two and in part three, the last part, we renovated one of five apartments in this building. And this was the smallest studio apartment. So it was like pretty hard because we had to kind of figure out how to fit every single thing in. Uh, but I think we did a really good job. I think we aced it. The kitchen's got enough room. We've even got a TV and a couch and a little bedroom and a balcony. You know, we're killing it. We're killing it. Uh, we're going to leave this balcony space till later. I don't really want to do the balcony spaces or the common areas until maybe the end. I want to focus on the actual apartments. But basically, we could do either the penthouse today or we could go into one of the small ones again. Hmm... Maybe we should try this one because this one's kind of large. I mean, we've got, oh, there's this one. Uh, maybe we should do this one because we've got an upstairs master bedroom and a second bedroom over here and a little kitchen area. All right, let's do that. Now, I said in the last part that I wanted all the apartments to have, like to be consistent in what they look like. I want them to all be a little bit similar and yeah, so we'll see how we go. We might actually leave some black floorboards in this one. Uh, but yeah, we're using the same materials in all of them. So keeping it, keeping it real, keeping it consistent. And you know what? Do you reckon we could put a window at the end of the hallway there? Just be nice to add a little bit more light. Does that look okay? Ooh, it really does ruin our exterior a little bit. Uh... You know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to ruin our exterior. They could have fluorescent lights, okay? They'll be fine. They will be fine. All right, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to grab some kitchen counters, the same ones from this build we did. Oh, this finish we did the other time. And this is going to be the kitchen area, I think. And we're probably going to have... A dining table in the middle here I'd say and maybe the fridge over here so let's just go into kitchen stuff grab that nice big fridge and the actual build is all base game only I'm pretty sure except for uh, these doors and a couple of the stair balustrades so you can definitely download it if you have base game you'll just have to change those things uh, otherwise it's pretty much gonna have a few things from all the different packs just because it's quite a big furnish and I just get bored of using the same stuff over and over again so that is why I like to mix it up a bit and the smaller the builds are the easier it is to just go with one stuff pack or just base game only uh, or for just the builds themselves without the furnish all right I've also just been watching a live streamer called Clint Stevens. Uh, I think he's an American or he must be because he that's his accent. And I was just watching him uh, play Zelda, Nintendo 64 Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And he's doing what's called speed running. Like he's not my friend or anything. I just discovered him the other day. I was looking up Nintendo games and there's this whole world of speed running. And I spoke about this in the last part of this build. Ooh, I'm going to put some bins in the common area just so we don't forget to deal with them. Oh, that's going to annoy some of you guys. There we go. Uh, yeah, he's not my friend or anything, but I just discovered him last night. I told you guys about this in the last speed, uh, last apartment build. And I am obsessed with watching him because he's so fast at playing Legend of Zelda and speed running's this kind of new Oh, it's probably not even that new, but it's new to me, this community of people who try and finish retro games as quickly as possible, or even new games. But the retro games are pretty amazing to watch because they've obviously been playing them for so long. It's like, hola, that's crazy. Let's just put that bin over there. Where is this damn bin going to go? I mean, I feel like it has no, no, no place. It has no place. Okay. Uh, I think that's looking okay. 
it's fine. It's fine. We'll we'll add some new things to it and make it look a little bit more pretty in good time. Let's maybe put this thing. The only thing with this is that it just goes into the wall. You know what? I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy at all. And this one, yeah, that's okay. Let's get a dining table in here as well. At the moment, I am either in the UK or the US. I might be in the US by now. I'm going to The Sims 4 in Redwood Shores, the studios, and I'm going to be playing or trying out The Sims 4 City Living, which I am so excited about. I The reason why they invite YouTubers to go is because obviously we share it with our audience. Uh, so it makes total sense for marketing and also I love going because it is a incredible experience and of course I want to bring you guys all the good stuff like every single thing I find out that I'm allowed to tell you guys I will tell you guys and basically I don't really find out anything that I'm not allowed to tell you guys so yay exciting times uh, so I'll be hopefully uploading videos about that pretty soon so keep your eyes peeled on the channel but I'm obviously pre-recording this so if you guys left comments on the last part of this and they're like why isn't she doing what I say that's why oh that green's really nice I don't think I've ever used this green before but I'm really feeling it great now we have to change the doors oh, no they're all the actually it doesn't look too bad when the sides you know what I think it works yeah, it works. Totally works. Uh, maybe we can make most of these walls cream, actually. Get rid of the white. Warm it up a little bit. We always go with white walls. Let's do something different. Okay, I don't like this chair and table combo. It is just, let's be honest, it's not pretty. It is not pretty. And if we go like this, we're becoming super duper matchy. And if we go like, I don't know, where's the blue? This is being even more matchy. So I'm going to keep it simple and go gray. Yeah, I think that's nicer. We just needed to lighten, up a bit, lighten it up a little bit. And let's get some flowers and pop them on the table as well. I'm a big fan of beautiful flowers. I just think they make an interior look happy, look lived in, look fresh. So I'm all about it. How's that yellow against the green? Not quite there. Oh, yes. Let's use this one. That always looks really good. And I think we can put something on the wall over here. We could put a mirror, like a circular mirror. Yeah, that's kind of nice. And we could also have a few more kitchen appliances or something like that because it's looking a little bit bare. I kind of feel like we're furnishing to sell it furnished maybe or rent it out fully furnished. Do you guys feel the same way? Because that's what I feel. I feel like we are the builders of a big de apartment building development and we are working towards selling it to people fully furnished. Uh, we could put some shelves here and maybe we'll also... Ooh. Oh, there we go. What is that? I don't get what the difference between those is. I think I just made them chocolate brown. I don't know. But what I do want to do is grab some of these cupboards that we used in the other apartment. Because I think that'll look nice if we just lift it up here and join it to the shelves. Yes. Yes, honey. Because now, now it looks like it's the same it kind of looks like it's the same thing right like it's all been boxed in cool will that sit on the shelf no so many things don't sit on shelves I think I spoke about this in the last part and it just frustrates me that half the time I can't put anything on the shelf I mean this I can but usually I can't I think we've already got enough fruit in here why don't we use this these don't get used enough and they're they're kind of cool I mean, they're kind of creepy too, but they're kind of cool. People love creepy things. 
You know how many creepy things I've seen in people's houses I've visited? I'm like, oh my gosh, how can you have that in your house? Many things. In fact, I was looking at Matsya, uh, PewDiePie's girlfriend, Matsya, her Instagram the other day. She's got a really nice Instagram. Uh, but she, you know how some people just have really nice Instagrams and you can just look through all their photos for days? Yeah, she's got one of those Instagrams. And I was just checking it out, just looking at it. And then she had this picture of all these creepy as dolls. And I think they're lined up in her bedroom like what girl how can you have that in your house I would be so scared to sleep at night if that was opposite my bed I don't know if it was in their bedroom but kind of looked like it oh man it's messed up (laughs) was not into it at all but you know I bet half of you guys would be into freaky dolls oh no damn we don't have much room for the lounge room hmm Let's see if we can actually change the building at all. Not really. That's going to totally screw up the front entrance. Unless. Oh, what did I just do? What did I just do? Please tell me that that's saved. Please tell me that everything's okay. Usually it says, do you want to save? Doesn't it? Oh my gosh. Can we just save that for a second? I have no idea. I guess I just press map then. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. Uh, If we, yeah, I think that's okay to bring that out a little bit. At least it helps because I think we might be able, we might be able to fit a couch over here. Uh, I don't want to make that dining area any smaller though. Let's see how we go. And three seat is probably going to be too much. Yeah, way overkill. Wait, 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 overkill. Uh, Yeah, I do like Matsu's Instagram. I don't really think she's weird. I just think she has her own sense of what she likes, which is a good thing. I like kooky people, actually, because I'm a bit kooky myself. Uh, That's clipping into the bin. Don't like that. One of the most annoying chores in this life we live in is emptying bins. Oh my gosh, I can't stand emptying, like having to, my, the where I have to empty my bins is in my apartment, in the building downstairs in the basement. There's like a hopper for where all of your rubbish needs to go. And every time I have to go out, take the rubbish down to the basement, to the hopper, I'm like, oh, why? like the one job I hate (laughs) more than happy to clean the toilet more than happy to do all of that stuff just taking the bin out oh it's the worst what is your least favorite job what is the thing that just makes you cringe when you know you have to do it so much so you'd basically pay someone to do it for you I never use these couches by the way uh I'm going to make this into a study nook. So I just think it's, yeah, it's poor form if we do that. We could kind of put couches like this. Can we change this door color, by the way, too? I feel like this is more of the more of a blue apartment. In fact, I don't even like that. None of these doors go. None of them. Maybe the red one's best. Okay, so we've got these matching couches. Well, maybe we should make them all gray or all black. Yeah, that's better, much better. Okay, let's get a big TV happening. Do we want the Whopper one? Nah, that's a, that's a little bit too much. I feel like we'll save that for the penthouse. Yeah, and then maybe we can put more of the stone Maybe this can be like a stone wall. And I tend to like to match what's on either side of the wall because then it feels like it is legitimately like a stone wall. Is it going to be too much if we do it all down here? Uh, It is a lot, but I think we can get away with it and it makes it look interesting. 
Yes, I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna do it, you all, y'all, <laughs> you all. Donskis. And we're definitely not gonna fit a coffee table in here, so let's just get these and make the illusion of a bit of a TV console. Console? What do you call it? Cabinet, not console. Although in the new expansion pack, they're going to have a gaming console, which is kind of cool, uh, where up to four Sims can play. So that's, that was a nice idea. Let's maybe... Put it like that. I still want the Sims to be able to walk through. It is a tight squeeze. Uh, we can probably put a lamp in the corner over here as well so it looks a little bit more... A little bit more balanced. And like the space is not just dead space, it's actually being utilised. Yeah. And then maybe we can have some wall lights as well. Oh, but then the lamp doesn't make sense over there, does it? So we better take away those. I like the idea though. I think that wall lights look spectacular going down a corridor. So we're definitely going to have a couple there. Spectacular. Maybe we should put one above this painting. We do have the special, these lights, I think were meant to go above paintings. They always look really nice. And maybe we can even make this shelf have a nice lighting effect underneath onto that. Uh, and maybe we can even go below the cabinets to make a cool lighting effect down the bottom. I mean, let's just see. And they don't do anything. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's pretty, that is pretty lit in the evening. That That is a lot of lighting. I mean, it, we can take away some of the lighting, of course. And, oh, wow. The wall lights are going to make it more than enough okay that's cool i'm happy Move that tv up and then oh also some of you guys were commenting that uh you don't like this series because you find it boring because it's not sped up and that is fine i have done this series for those of you guys who asked for it because a lot of you guys who enjoy the slowed down version of builds, like let's builds. Uh, you guys have been waiting for ages for another one. So thank you for waiting patiently for me to do one. Okay, I think we need a rug in here. Let's get, yeah. Cause there's always plenty of speed builds on this channel. <laughs> I love doing speed builds. They're pretty much part of my weekly tasks because they, I mean, I mean, it's just what I do. I always need to be building something. I only have usually at most, I'll have a week where I don't do a build and then I'll just naturally feel like building. So yeah, there's, there's always going to be builds. Just let's builds. I don't do them as often. I think just because they take uh, they're, they're actually more difficult to do because you're talking whilst building and, you know, you kind of smash out a build in a day uh, or two. Oh. Mom, I can't talk right now. I'm with my friends. Call declined. Damn, I feel so mean. Sorry, Mom. I'll say hi to her for you guys after this. Okay, so let's go like that. I can't remember what I was talking about. It's gone. But I feel like we could put a shelf behind here. Let's see. Or we might be just trying a little bit too hard. Anyway, if there's a well, there's a way. If we make this black, does it look like it's a part of it? It's not like we have a lot of space to play with right now. Uh, you know, I don't mind it for a change. 
The other one we could do is this, but that one looks too old school in my opinion, and this one doesn't come in the correct colorway, and plus it's super duper thick. So, or we could just put... Yeah, I don't like those. Oh, what about this one? This one could work quite nicely. Yeah, that's all right. Except for the minor issue of the books going through the table. What happens if we lift it up? Yeah, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Okay, so the shelf looks like it's on the wall. Nice, beautiful. And we might put another lamp on there because I just love in the lamps today. I'm a genie in a bottle. Let's do a future cube too, because that's the least used item in this game. Oh, so let's just put that there. And why not have a fishbowl? Fishbowls are cool. We should also maybe put some kind of decoration on the walls. <clears throat> let's put this painting. This painting's gonna be used so much in this Let's Build series, I just know it. Uh, oh, these would be really nice on this wall over here. Oh, actually, maybe they would be better off on this side. Let's put this on this side. Grab that. Go like that. Yes, beautiful. Just because this one's a bit different. I don't use this as much. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm about to lose my voice. Okay, what's the nicest thing? Oh yeah, that's nice. I like it. You know what? I think I'd like it even more if we doubled them up and stacked them because this is quite a feature wall. Yeah, we need to lift these up again. I wonder how much effort is gone into planning like big art shows. You know what I mean? When they, when they, have art curators that plan where the Picasso is going to be hung, how it's going to be hung without damaging it. Don't you think that would be a crazy stressful job? I reckon it would be. Oh, we're still in evening. Okay, let's go afternoon. Nice. I mean, it is a dark apartment. This is not my personal taste, all of this black. I am more of a bright colors kind of gal, I think, but you know, this would make some sim and some of you guys happy. They obviously really like their artwork too, BT dubs. And let's put a console table in here, I think. That's definitely what we need. Yeah. Let's keep this end light and bright. So I'm gonna lean that painting on the table. And maybe, uh, we could introduce a wood color so it's not so perfect in terms of colors oh I like the black though yeah okay I, I yeah we're, we're going with the black <laughs> I crumbled I just I know I said we, we're not gonna make it perfect or we're going with the grayish color rather but I just I feel like this is pre-furnished apartments and pre-furnished, they're always going to look a little bit too perfect if you get what I mean. Okay. Oh no, we don't want those on the floor. And what else can we put on here? Perfume? Nah. Books? Yeah, not in a pre-furnished apartment. We don't want that. We would put a box of tissues. So many tissues all the time. Okay. I guess in, so we've done a nice living area. We've done kind of a separated split kitchen, which I think will work quite nicely. Uh, and then next up we have this bedroom and then the master bedroom over here. Take note, this is a separate apartment, which mean, well, we might work on that next. We might go up, 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 then across and down. We might do it in a bit of a weird <laughs> A bit of a weird way. Uh, oh, and I do want to put a little bit of a bathroom in. Let's just grab the walls from this bathroom. Yeah, we've got some nice tiled walls. 
And then we're going to be doing so many bathrooms uh, for this build. And <laughs> we're going to be bathroom pros by the end of it. I think we might put a slightly more expensive shower than what we did for the last one. Uh, we've got a little bit of greenery there. Just let that cascade onto the footpath. And then we might even get... No, not that. Keep it to the base game. Uh... Whoa, that's cool. That's so cool. There's a lot of matte black taps around at the moment. I don't know if you guys have been noticing that trend, but there are so many matte black uh, kitchen taps, especially in Melbourne, where I live. Like Everyone seems like all the new apartment buildings have all these matte black taps. It's like the thing right now. And let's also put a little ruggy in. Ugh, it's like looking way too beigey white. I mean, it is the blue apartment, so maybe we go with that blue theme. It'd be good to have a little bit of air in that in that toilet. I feel like potentially no ventilation that could get a little stanky. So let's maybe put just a window up like that. So it's not like anyone can see in, but it does have that ventilation. And mm, oh my gosh, it spoils my building. <laughs> Fine, no ventilation. Ventilation's gone. It has pretend ventilation. Yep. Okay, we'll just have to agree with that. All right, guys. Well, we'll work on the bedrooms in the next part. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. <laughs>